if it ain't one thing it's always another with me like i just cannot believe my life right now yo like what the fuck Jala. so check it because y'all know in real life i love y'all <laughs> and in real life i keep it as real as possible for y'all but um i have a irregular menstrual cycle so sometimes it skips a month only one though today is may 22nd and the last time i had my period was march 7th so i am about to buy me a little test until i go to my doctor's appointment which is next week next week friday and ah, you just can't make this shit up yo i mean you really cannot make this up i don't believe myself shella what are you doing shella damn yo i should have just i'm not gonna say nothing yo I'm just, I'm all over the place right now. But I need to find out. I can't wait any longer because, of course, if I am, I'm gonna keep it. But this weekend, I'm supposed to go out with a bang. And I don't wanna be drinking and thugging and bugging. And sis is a whole, maybe, two months going on three because june is next week this shit is crazy i can't believe this y'all and guess what <laughs> y'all the first ones to know the first ones no one knows so when i post this vlog y'all are going to find out the same time everyone else is i mean I'm gonna call the guy. I mean, I told him it's a possibility. And we just spoke this morning. So, y'all yeah, be the second, but this is crazy. Yo, <laughs> my heart is beating so fast. I'm all over the place right now. I just can't believe it. Wow. Shall I? Damn. Damn, man. I'm right to Dollar Tree. Because I have to get some um, stuff for my cooking class. Dollar Tree got seeds, y'all. Wow. They got seeds for gardening, and, and y'all know I've been up to this lately. I'm gonna um buy some. I found some seeds. I'm gonna buy like five dollars worth. Yo, I went and bought it and ended up buying $33 worth of rubber shit. Like, come on, Shella. Come on. Ridiculous. I'm an epic foul. But, um, hi. Can I get a, oh, not you. <laughs> I'm sick. Hi. How you doing? A bacon, egg, and cheese, mayonnaise, salt, and pepper? Thank you. Yes. My shells, I'm back from the store. And I um bought a kneeling pad. 
for when I um, go up to my garden and start planting. I can nail on that so my knees don't be hurting and stuff. And I also bought some club gloves. This is all from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> and then I lucked up and I was going to buy some popsicle sticks and make labels for what I plant. But they actually had plant labels at the dollar store. So I went and bought 20. 10 comes in the pack. This is so dope. I'm so excited. <sighs> then I bought a Sharpie, you know, to write on the label. <laughs> and I bought seeds. A lot of seeds. So I never bought seeds from the dollar, dollar tree because kind of skeptical but i'm gonna do some experimenting and i'm gonna plant them in the um in my garden so i'm excited about a lot of that yeah 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 hey 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 uh oh I see my bacon, egg, and cheese is here, but where is the pregnancy test? That is the reason why I went to the store, you know? Okay, so I got it. I actually bought two of them. That's from the dollar store. Hey okay, yeah, here's the moment I've been dreading, but it's been long overdue. And y'all are with me every step of the way. It's like y'all y'all having the kid with me. Hey, all my baby mothers and baby fathers. All right, let me be more serious. See, and this is the sad part because I don't take anything serious, and I probably should be a bit more serious than what I am right now. And because I am who I am, I just can't be too serious. I'm gonna pee in the cup. Here it goes. Oh, that was a lot of piss. Okay. So. There goes the pee. There goes the test. And here we go. Okay, and just let it sit, right? Sit it, set it, and forget it. Okay, what does it say? Here's the negatives and the positives. Damn, this is really happening to me, y'all. What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? I just think that, um, I just think that this irregular menstrual cycle just extended and ran its course this time around because I don't think I'm fucking pregnant. I'm just fat. <laughs> but, um, yeah, here goes. So, after three minutes, we're going to read the results. And then we will know. Dun 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 dun. Uh 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 uh. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I had to um wipe myself and wash my hands. I'll be right back. <laughs> so 
when it comes to unborn basil or lavender, Shala, you are not pregnant. Dun dun dun. Okay, that part is over. I hope I'm. Yes, negative. I am not. I am not. Whew. And this is why today, May 22nd, I'm going, I'm starting back to go to cel being celibate because <sighs> that was fucking mind blowing, yeah. <laughs> oh, not because, you know, of anything in particular. It's just, I would have kept it. I just, I'm just starting to live my best life as a businesswoman, you know? But it would have been Shala, baby in the business. Vlog after vlog after vlog. But another one bites the dust. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna eat my breakfast sandwich. Prep and prepare for work. Um, probably wash a load of clothes. Whew. God, God, God. Oh, my shout, that was scary. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but this is why I'm, I'm, I got my doctor's appointment next week Friday because why is it skipping two months? Like this is about to be a whole new month. So I'm gonna go to the doctor and figure it out and see what's the verdict. And maybe, yeah, maybe I'm gonna post all of this together after I go to the doctor to really see because Six years ago, June 7th makes six years. I would have had three six years old with Matthew, the guy that I was with. And they were stuck in my fallopian tube and left abdominal wall. So I couldn't carry. I had to get a, a tubal abortion. I had to stick a needle in my butt. And yeah. Because if I would have carried, I would have died. If the pipes, the tubes would have busted open. It, it, it would have been a bad, bad, bad situation for Shella Bands. And um, they called it a etopic pregnancy. All I know is it was so devastating because, like, I really loved Matt. Like, we was really in love, y'all. And that's, like, the only person, only person that I ever, ever, like, like, consider having a kid with, you know? And this was six years ago. Uh, yeah, six years ago. And, um, every time around, like, the first week of June, we always link up and we go out to eat and we laugh and we joke and we talk. But it took us a while to get back to our friendship because he, he might beg to differ, but he left me because he didn't understand what was going on. Now, it was mad stuff that broke us up. That was just, like, the icing on the cake. Like, I was, that was the first time in my life that I was, like, depressed and, like, stressed out. Like, I had, like crazy thoughts like damn yo this is the first time i ever got pregnant in my life and this is the first pregnancy that is an epic fail you know that i can't even carry them i can't keep them but i look back at my life now like damn yo all the stuff i've done is like how would i would have been if i would have had three kids yeah three babies at the same damn time like that was that was crazy but that would have been one hell of a journey yo and matt he he's a, a wonderful person y'all like he really is like he's been my best friend since day one and then i was thinking like damn maybe you know it's all the, the bad thoughts 
like, damn, because I used to be a fucking prostitute and shit. Like, maybe I can't care because I don't fuck too many guys for money. Like, this is karma. I'm not going to be a mom. You know, mad stuff. But then I went to the doctor and I got checked out. And, like, I had to go through a lot of fucking x-rays and exams and perhaps, like, a whole, the whole spill. But nothing is wrong with me, you know? Like, I'm okay. So that was, like, a wake-up call for me. And I never entertained the thought of having a baby. So this recent guy, you know, we've been fucking for like two years on and off, on and off. Like he, he, we are still like this. And, um, um, I haven't been really talking to him a lot lately. I just been like focused on work and the job and like mad stuff. And then like. We took a whole break, like, for a while. And then, in March, when I came back from my, the ski trip, we started fucking, and I really was thinking, like, damn, what the fuck? But I had my period March 7th. That's the last time I had my menstrual cycle. And that was before I seen it. Like, you know, I'm just, like, connecting the dots, like, yo he got me pregnant what the fuck oh my god so i called him this morning <laughs> and i recorded some of the conversation sorry don't be mad at me i'm not gonna post it but <laughs> just in case if i was <laughs> you know it would have been a nice little vlog like hey y'all <laughs> but yeah um that was really crazy like yeah today has been one hell of a morning y'all <laughs> and let me show y'all again shella you are not going to be a mom this year yeah so let's see where the journey begins after this i love y'all thank y'all for subscribing thank y'all for tuning in thank y'all for allowing me to include y'all in everything that i do and thank y'all for just loving me watching me supporting me and for always <laughs> a lot of y'all be having my back on social media with mad foolishness that i'll be doing and if you don't already make sure you follow me on snap instagram and facebook all three or one of the three or two of the three or something subscribe to this blog click click the notification bell just so you could get all the updates of what's going on in this crazy life of Shella Bands. I love y'all so much. I hope all of y'all have a wonderful, 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 wonderful day. Wonderful week. Uh, I love y'all, my shells. Bye-bye. Adios.